everybody, my name's Olivia. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Make Up Fun with Olivia, and welcome to another Former Favorites video. This is a series I started in 2016, and I'm super excited about it because I just love going back one year to this month and, re and reviewing my Former Favorites with you. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're going back to April 2015, and I'm gonna kind of review with you, take a look at those favorites that I had last year. Am I still using them? Do I still like them? Am I using something else? What's going on? Okay, so let's jump in and get started. The very first item that I had last year, and I have them written down, so if you see me looking down, that's why, is the ColourPop blush between the sheets. This is what it looks like. Let me take the lid off. And it's kind of like a cream to powder. As you can tell, it is very well loved, and I have used it a lot. I will say that I kind of forgot about it and stopped using it. I loved it for so long. Um, and let me see if I can, I don't know if you can see it, but it's very subtle and that's part of why I loved it so much. Can you see that? Let's see. It's so pretty, you guys, and so subtle between the sheets. So I have a, a couple of these, but this was my favorite last year in 2015. And um, the texture is just, it's so creamy and just, um, I don't know, I, I really loved it. I didn't reach out much for it after the first few months. Um, I completely forgot about it because I think I've realized that I'm an addict to blushes. <laughs> You'll see a haul coming soon. My VIB Rouge sale haul video coming soon. You'll see that I'm a cheap addict. Anyway, I'm an everything addict, huh? I like it all. <laughs> Makeup junkie. Anyway, um, I apply this with my next favorite from last year, which is this e.l.f. Stipple Brush. And this is wonderful for cream formula blushes or you know and, and you just stipple and stipple on um, it's just it's great so I've started using this again this year I really like it but I I was obsessed with it last year used it a lot and then went on to other stuff so um, I hadn't really used it until now I've been pulling it out again both great products. I still very much recommend them. If you haven't tried the ColourPop um, cheek colors and you like a cream, kind of cream to powder, look at how pretty that is. Anyway, stop Olivia, move on to the next one. <laughs> the next one was the Bobbi Brown Eye Gel um, in, what's it called? Long Wear Gel Eyeliner in Black Ink. This is what it comes in. I still have it. And it still works. Again, another thing that I was totally obsessed with, used it for the longest of times, but I must admit that even though this is a wonderful um, eye gel eyeliner, I went back to pencil because I have a very busy lifestyle and I love grabbing a good pencil, putting it on there, and let's go. So even though I still use this, I don't use it as often. The wonderful thing about this, and if you do use a gel eyeliner, I recommend you give this a try if you haven't because it's long lasting, it doesn't dry out on you. That was one of the reasons why I tried this because I had tried a couple of um, drugstore gel eyeliners and they dried out super quick. This is a year later, you guys. There's still a lot in there and it's not dried out. Whenever I want to use it again, I pull it out again and it still works. So very, very much worth the money. Now, my next favorite I used with this eyeliner and it's the e.l.f. Angled Eyeliner. And sorry about that, I think that was my phone. <laughs> Let's see, let me put it this way. So what I do is I go in there and then I just do this. This is wonderful because it it's angled and so I can get that inner part of the eye without really having to get in there. I, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's really, really awesome. So if you use any gel eyeliner, give this one a try if you haven't used tried this brush, the e.l.f. Angled Eyeliner Brush. Great, great brush. All right, my next, my next favorite was um, a NARS blush as well, NARS in Deep Throat 
and I discovered it through the Virtual Domination Blush Palette that they came out with. Um, this is what it looks like. And the blush that I was addicted to is called Deep Throat. It's this one right here. It's a little bit shimmery, um, kind of a light pinky, peachy. I would say that this is a matte, it's not a matte finish, sorry. Um, it's kind of like a satin finish. Um, I don't know if you can see it. My lighting is bad, but um, it's not matte. It's, um, it does have a little bit of a sheen, but it's not shimmery. So it's very pretty. Again, I was obsessed with this blush last year and then I forgot all about it and moved on. I think I've kind of discovered that I'm not a big fan of NARS blushes. Um, I now love the Tarte blushes, the ColourPop blushes, but the NARS ones, I don't know, when I go back and use them, like, you know, the more you try stuff and you go back and you compare and you're like, that one's not as nice as this. So I would say I love the Tarte blushes way more than the NARS, at least so far from the NARS blush blushes that I've tried. I'm not saying that this is a bad blush, it's a beautiful blush. Um, the bronzer in here is really nice too. Don't get sidetracked, Olivia. But um, yeah, just not reaching a whole, a whole lot for that one anymore. All right, um, the next one is the Bite Beauty High Pigment Pencil in Violet. Now this one, I still love. However, here is the pencil. I put it on today so that you can see it. This is a super creamy, beautiful color um, pe uh, pencil lippy but I never used it why because one of my complaints or you know one of kind of the negatives of these lippies this bite lippies is that they go quickly they're super creamy but when you start wearing them they they use up quickly and for the price I didn't want to use it the ironic thing is that I kind of stopped using it because I didn't want to use it up so this year we're using this. <laughs> but yeah, oh, let me swatch it for you too. Let's see, maybe I can swatch over here so you can see. Super creamy, you guys, and such a pretty color. Oh my God. Just, I just, I love that. Love, love, love that. So yeah, this one's getting used this year. It's not gonna sit there, uh, cause I was so afraid to use it and then I just stopped using it. Um, okay, the last two items I don't have with me because I, found other products that I liked more. Uh, the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in Dewy and Smooth. I'll try to put a picture somewhere so that you can see it. I did do a First Impressions Friday. Um, I'll try to link it down below if you're interested in seeing it. At the time, I was very impressed with it and I still think it's a good foundation. It's just that I've found other ones that I like way more. Um, also, the, let's see, Master, the Maybelline Master Prime primer blur and smooth now that one I kind of mentioned to you um, it was a love-hate relationship because I loved the way that it worked it was a great primer but it kind of broke me out so I couldn't use it so those last two are gone I have other products that I use um, for a primer I use a holy grail benefit um, the professional that's my holy grail I use that all the time um, I, I try other primers and I, I keep coming back to that one so that's my holy grail primer anyway that is it for my former favorites my favorites from last year from 2015 April um, a lot of them I wasn't really reaching for um, that much anymore and so I'm glad to remember them like my bite beauty pencil and my color pop um, blush because I'm going to be using them again this spring but um, some of them I don't use like the foundation and the primer I found other products that I prefer so I hope you enjoyed this month's former favorites and in about a week or so look out for my April 2016 favorites okay thank you so much for joining me today and I will talk to you later bye